Hey, what's up guys? We're going to talk about in today's video, what we're going to talk about is a time that I went to Chicago, Illinois, and pretty much was not prepared for the winter time, because they get some brutal, brutal winters out in the Midwest, <clears throat> and coming from a guy who grew up in Northern California, which I'll get around 20 to 30 degrees in the winter time, and it would snow, but I was not expecting to go visit a friend and have this kind of weather because for an example a friend of mine was like hey would you want to come around valentine's day and hang out and whatnot and i was like sure i'll fly out there because i love to travel and i love to uh, see new fun and exciting places and i would never been to chicago before so i thought going and hanging out with somebody that was cool exciting and fun to uh, chill with okay, why not just fly out there because I have the money and go uh, hang out because I do love to road trip and travel. If you all know that, that's one of my biggest passions in life. So once I decided to fly out there, it was around probably 55, 60 in California because it was one of those times where it was starting to get a little bit warmer in the winter. And I kind of asked her, is there anything I need to know before I come? Do I need to bring like snow clothes, snow boots, gloves, and anything like that? And she's like, no, 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 it's cool. Just bring some hoodies and a beanie and you'll be fine. The weather's not going to be that severe, that brutal. So I was like, oh, okay, I got a few hoodies I could bring because I do have some snow clothes because growing up in California, in the mountains, it does snow a little bit. So I was like, okay, I'll bring uh, just a couple hoodies and some pants and my Vans shoes. So I didn't have no boots, no, really no uh, snow gloves, nothing like So once I decided to fly out there, got on a plane, it was like about a four to five hour flight because you're going from California to the West Coast all the way to the Midwest. So it was a cool flight. I ended up going to, I think it was Chicago O'Hare Airport and I flew in there. I had no problems uh, getting there, no layovers. It was like a, a nonstop flight. So I was like, okay, I'm going to show up and hang out and see a cool person. Per so what happens is I get off the plane and like I said, I'm still wearing just a regular hoodie and I'm like, Oh, it's a little chilly here. So I end up walking out of the airport and I grab my phone out and I go, do 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 text message. I'm like, I can't text message. My hands are numb because she wasn't at the airport at the right time. She ne she wasn't like there at the time I was supposed to get off the plane. Like I was supposed to get there like at two in the afternoon and she wasn't there at two in the afternoon. Okay, so she said after I got out of the airport, I'm like, I, oh my god, I can't text message. So I walk back inside. And I end up text messaging her back and saying, hey, are you on the way to the airport? I'm just curious because I'm here waiting to get picked up. And she ends up replying, oh, I'm on the way to the airport. I'll be there shortly. And once she pulled up, she looks at me and goes, wait, where's your jacket? And I was like, well, I don't have a jacket with me. Do I need one? And she goes, yeah, you're going to need one. It's going to be 22 below zero all week and we're gonna be expecting six to seven inches of snow and i'm like are you shitting me and she's like well i'm not shitting you i'm just being realistic with you that there's gonna be that much snow and you're not wearing boots or gloves we gotta go to the mall and get you some gloves so i went and got some gloves some uh uh snow gloves and i had two hoodies so i was like okay i'll wear both hoodies and a uh a beanie and I'll be perfectly fine so that's what exactly I did but the funny part was after end up getting to the hotel room and walking around because I was downtown uh, um, Chicago so I was downtown walking around looking at the buildings and whatnot and I just have van shoes on you know the skater shoes and I end up walking I guess on some black ice or some snow that I didn't see there was ice on the sidewalk I end up walking and doing this whoop and falling on my ass and not one person looked at me to say hey are you okay you need help because I was walking to go find a Starbucks because I was so cold I needed like a hot chocolate or something to give me some like warming up because I was not f used to this 22 below zero weather it was crazy it was windy it was crazy and I ended up finding the Starbucks but the thing I didn't know 
I was going to fall and bust my ass. Was I embarrassed? Kind of. I got up and I seen people and I just kind of brushed it off like, and walked away like, no, 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 I didn't fall. But the moral, the moral of the story is I ended up falling and busting my ass. And it was because I was wearing um, regular shoes and not snow boots that had traction on it. So I wasn't prepared for the weather. Her family was like, why you only got hoodies on and you don't got anything else? And I was like, well, she told me not to bring anything. And I remember showing her the text message I pulled up my phone and I was like look the text message goes oh well it's not that bad and maybe for somebody who grows up in that climate or been in that climate for a while you can acclimate to that climate but for myself you can't acclimate to that climate when you're not used to it and you're just some dude coming from like a warmer climate because California Southern California stays in about the 60s and the 50s in the wintertime. Southern California is more of a hot climate. Northern California is mountains and it gets around 20 degrees to maybe 40 in the winter. So it does snow, it does get cold, but it doesn't get so cold that it's going to f- make you freeze. You know, it's not going to be below zero. It's not going to be that crazy. But my story is. When I went there, I had a hell of a great time. I think Chicago is one of the most fun and exciting cities that I've ever been to. Will I ever make my way back to the Windy City? Hell yeah, I'll go back. I definitely want to go back. I think it's probably a great place to go see in the snow. Because I don't really remember too much about it. I didn't take any pictures. This was MySpace day, so I wasn't out there vlogging, like, holding my... So, will I ever go back to Chicago? Hell yeah, I will. I think it's a fun and exciting place, but like I said before, I don't remember really much about it because this was MySpace days, okay? I wasn't vlogging. I wasn't taking a lot of pictures. You didn't have a selfie camera, so I really wasn't out there because back in those days, you'd have to have an actual pocket camera that you could take pictures with or videos with and whatnot. And like I said, I wasn't really YouTube to that extent back then, so I can just visualize it in my head, but I can't really remember a lot. All I remember is I went to a movie. I went out to dinner and I hung out with a cool ass person but do I want to go back to Chicago hell yeah I want to go back maybe bring my boy the NDFX out to Chicago let's go boy let's go see the Windy City um seeing in the summertime would be cool seeing in the winter would be beautiful because we both love the snow but um let me know if you guys ever had a story like this or ever went on a trip that was like this where you went somewhere it was extreme weather that you never uh were used to and you were like holy crap this is crazy but i definitely think a lot of people have had weird stories weird adventures and weird stuff happen to them they go somewhere they're not expecting the weather and they have to acclimate really quickly and they say it actually takes uh like a week the two weeks to acclimate to a certain climate especially if you're going up in the mountains because if you're coming from sea level to a mountain environment you can get climate sickness and get very very sick very very quick it's like you get lightheaded you get sick but uh hopefully you guys like this kind of video because uh sometimes just sitting down and shooting shit with you guys is uh cool telling you stories is uh awesome and uh i definitely love uh telling stories and podcasting and stuff like that and instead of just vlogging all the time, you can make cool ass videos like this, this uh, talking and whatnot. And yes, I know it might not be the typical YouTube thing because a lot of people, in YouTube, they want that Jake Paul everyday life, everyday bro type of uh, vlog, the controversial stuff. And I'm not about that controversial life. I'm about making stuff that's positive, stuff that is great, stuff that is good. It might not be the most high quality video but I try to make positive stuff and whatnot so it is what it is I'm not doing that Jake Paul that Logan Paul type stuff you know that's not me I'm not about that controversial lifestyle I'm not about every day bro I'm vlogging every day I'm gonna uh start crap every day you know I'm not about that I'm about uh being positive and being a nice dude and uh if you guys like this kind of sit down in front of the web camera kind of quality, let me know. Like I said, man, it's uh, 1080p. It's uh, my blue snowball. I might upgrade. And I'll show you one thing.
I'm still not 100% sure if I want to use this thing again because uh, it works pretty good for what it is because you can actually move the microphone around but uh, I was kind of thinking about getting a better microphone maybe like a a, a, a a sure SM7B like the Joe Rogan Experience has just because it would up the uh, quality or just get like a blue Yeti. I'm not sure if I want to get a blue Yeti because those are big microphones and they'd be big on my desk. But uh, if you guys like the audio, let me know in the comment section below. My name is Trevor and this has been another, what do you want to call it? Shooting the shit podcast, I guess. So as always, remember to rate, comment, and subscribe. And let me know if you guys like all the different angles or do you just like one angle that is straightforward. But uh, my name is Trevor, like I said. Hit the subscribe button and I'll see you guys soon. Bye-bye. Oh, before I go, I am working on like a travel video from, it's going to show, I'll just give you an example. It's going from Jacksonville to Old Town. There's a travel video about that. And then there's going to be videos of me and my friend hanging out. And then uh, in the same video, me going up to Georgia. So it's going to be like a 15, 16 minute like travel video and uh, whatnot. I'm doing, it's taken me longer than I wanted to because I haven't made it to Georgia to do that part of the video to to go see the waterfront up there but um I think the whole video is going to take me like a month to complete to be completely on to you because I got to make sure the weather's right so it's not going to be really cold rainy or uh foggy out you know I'm trying to make it like a video I've already watched. I'm trying to like emulate a style that I've seen that I thought I could make possibly a good video out of. But uh, it is what it is. It's like a cinematic video. I think it's one of the better videos I've made in a long time. And whatnot. it's not going to be as good because I don't have drone a drone to make the footage what I wanted to make. Because if I had a drone, it would make the, the content so much more better. But uh, for what it is, I think it's going to be sick. And I hope you guys enjoy it. It's, it's going to be like Back Roads uh, Florida Driving is the name of it. It's going to be like a road tripping, traveling kind of vlog. And I think it's something cool because it's something I've never made. And it's something I've always thought about. And I always make uh, or I always watch videos like this. But like I said, the only difference is I'm not doing a, a drone cinematography. Because I don't have a drone at all. All I have is my action camera, my cell phone, and that's about it, baby. So I'm going to do the best I possibly can to make the uh, best video I can. But um, that is my story of me falling on my ass in minus 22 degree weather out in Chicago. If you guys like that kind of storytelling, I'm going to start pumping some more uh, storytelling out because uh, I think it's a cool concept. It's a cool thing. And uh, it's around 10 p.m., and I gotta go. I'll see you guys in the next one. Thanks for watching. As always, I'm Trevor, and this has been another Shooting the Shit podcast. I'm out, baby.